On this page, you'll find a link of helpful links to websites that have been reviewed by the psych professors and the librarians and their psych professor and librarian approved. So when you're looking at a website, you want to keep in mind a few things, and I like to call it the crap test. It's a little trick that us librarians use to evaluate the content of a website. First, you want to look for currency, so C, and you want to look and see a date for the type of information that you're reading. How current is it? If you're looking for something where you need current information, then you want to make sure that that date happened within the past few years. If you're looking for historic information, something dated a little bit further back still might be relevant. Next is R, and that is um, reliability. You want to check and see if you can find out any information listed in the article and fact check it. So does that information have a supporting reference? You can look at the bottom of a website to see if there's a reference list, just like you would include when you're writing a research paper. So you want to make sure that the information on that page is reliable. Next is authority and accuracy. So who wrote it? How do they know what they're talking about? And is it accurate? So to find out this information, take a look at the author, and you can um, usually click the author's name. It will be a link, and that will take you to more information about that author. Or you can go to the About page of the website and look and see if they provide any information as to how they get their content. At a last resort, you can Google the author's name to see if you can find any information. But when it gets down to it, if it's really difficult to find information about that author, then they're probably not a super um, reliable, authoritative resource. Also, you want to check and see if that the information is accurate. So again, if there are facts and figures being used, are they backed up by any other sort of supporting material? Um, or does the content seem to come across as not factual or maybe more opinionated than factual? Then you kind of want to steer clear of those resources. Lastly, you want to look at purpose and point of view. So what's the intent of this content on the web? Is it to sell you something? Is it to give you more information about maybe a particular person's um, work or, or publications or maybe some sort of program that they offer? So if you feel like you're being pushed in a certain direction or if the web page is really littered with ads or takes you to other resources that contain ads, then you might be um, getting something that's more of an advertising marketing material than something that's factual. Also take a look at the last, the extension of the website, the domain. So is it a .edu site? Is it .com? Is it .gov? .gov means it's coming from the government, .edu from a um, educational institution, and .com it could come from anyone who decided to purchase that domain. Keep in mind, even when you're looking at .edu's, they're even giving I don't sixth grade or younger web space. So you might come across some information that seems really helpful, but uh, it wasn't written by a professional. It was written by a 12-year-old. So keep in mind, currency, reliability, accuracy and authority, purpose and point of view. Crap. And apply the crap test to uh, your website research.